really uh, I really fear that this uh, this COVID crisis uh, may slow down the process of, of energy transition. Uh, indeed, um, the, the the COVID uh, crisis is leading to an economic crisis, and, and therefore investors uh, could be uh, could be more cautious in, in coming out of the crisis. So at least for the infrastructure, as, as you mentioned, Estria, to me, it's an issue. Okay, so there, there may be a, a postponement of, uh, of, uh, of projects, especially for, for infrastructure. We should be prepared for that. Considering that we will be working with less uh, financing, um, maybe we should be looking at investing um, the smart way. And renewable energy is one of the smart, most cost-effective investments. So um, I'm, my, my take was that considering that we will be having uh, not as much money to go for big infrastructure projects. So this will be the chance for uh, renewable energy projects to, uh, to be put forward. And I think government should take this opportunity to uh, to invest more in that field. So to me, uh, it could if this crisis, the COVID-19 crisis um, might be a good, good I don't to say opportunity, but that, yeah, it would say it would be, a, it is a good opportunity for the renewable energy transition. Yes, you know, Cathy, I'm a, I'm a very big advocate uh, about um, technology development, research and development, and especially um, developing technologies that are um, developed locally for every uh, type of um, uh, area where they are, they are needed. So especially when, since we're talking about Africa, I think we need uh, technology solutions that are tailor-made for the continent. So that's my uh, personal fight. So uh, of course, I hope that we will get there in the next 10 years, uh, the, the latest and it's ambitious, but I just feel like the, the emergency is so strong that we don't have uh, any other solution. And what is interesting is that when we look at most uh, oil and gas company, most of them right now, they are also somehow transitioning, you know, and uh, investing in other type of energy. So, um, so I'm sure that if like every uh, one is a cooperative component in this uh, equation, we should be able to, to get there as soon as possible. Of course, it might sound a bit uh, idealistic, but uh, it's for me at least the best way to remain optimistic, given uh, how the the global situation is is uh, is moving currently. Uh, let's say all all uh, estimates you you can you can read uh, left and right. It seems that let's say up to twenty fifty, um, liquid uh, hydrocarbons and gas will be uh, the, the, major, the major source of energies, and, and then they, sh they, they would decrease. But OK, this is only projection. To me, it's, uh, it's a maximum. Uh, and and we, should, we should work hard because of, of the good reason mentioned by Astria. OK, there is an emergency, which is the climate, so we should change. But uh, on, on the same way, we cannot declare we want to change if we have nothing to produce energy uh, to replace the one we are using today. So it's, uh, we, we have to work, we need to work hard on uh, any part of the energy mix so that we can reduce as quickly as possible this, uh, the, the conventional, uh, conventional part of uh, coming from uh, fossil, fossil energies. Most uh, financing comes from abroad. And I think if we do start by financing our own projects, Maybe we're giving ourselves a chance for um, we, we're giving ourselves a chance for uh, to promote local content. Yeah.